Welcome back to Bright Side. Let's get a check on the tropics this morning as we get closer to the peak of hurricane season, which actually hits on Thursday uh, this year, September 10th. And the tropics, well, as you would expect, they're active. Uh, two tropical storms developed yesterday, Tropical Storm Paulette and Tropical Storm Renate. Two other disturbances to talk about this morning with the potential for development. Tropical Storm Paulette right now, as of the 5 o'clock advisory, has wind speeds at 50 miles per hour, moving to the northwest at 6 It'll start to speed up a little bit as we get into the second half of the week as it turns to the north. It just stays a tropical storm, a little bit of strengthening here or there, but not much strengthening and, and not a concern either. It continues to turn to the north, staying in the open waters of the central Atlantic. Tropical storm Renee has a little bit of a better chance for strengthening as we go through the rest of the week. It could become a hurricane, Cat 1 hurricane by Thursday morning. It will likely turn to the north as a hurricane and then weaken as it moves into the cooler waters of uh, the northern Atlantic. Both Paulette and Rene, uh, just another record setting storms there with the earliest development for the P and R storms. Every single storm that we've had since Edward this season have set a record for the earliest that that letter of storm or that number storm has developed. And, and that leaves us now with only four names left sally teddy vicky and wilfred and and if we get those storms then we'll have to resort to the greek alphabet for uh the next names uh those other tropical waves coming off the coast of africa now a 60 percent chance of that one developing as it moves over the waters that'll happen probably later this week into the weekend and then there's the other area of low pressure southwest of bermuda this one has a 40 percent chance of developing as it approaches the carolina coast later this week into the weekend as well